Hello, my name is Leo and I'm here to talk about one of the tools that I've used for investing. Many years ago, when I was overseas, I happened upon a newspaper that literally changed my life. Yes, one of the tools is a newspaper. This newspaper changed my outlook on how to move forward and begin into the journey and the world of investments. It is a newspaper that focuses on finance. It has articles on companies and has a worldwide circulation. I did not realize it then, but I do now that in my hand then and now is insight into some of the most pertinent data you could ever want about finance, government spending, companies, and their inner workings. It is an investor's dream come true. This newspaper is the Financial Times. Now, this is not an advertisement for them. I am not getting paid by them, nor do I have stock in this company. This is just factual, well, information that I'm putting forth. It was from this newspaper, this Financial Times, that I heard about companies, from some of them that had worldwide presence, which were never ever even mentioned in the Homeland News. Now, it presents, this newspaper presents, an unbiased and factual rendition of news events, again with that focus on finance. It links, or by reading it, you can link the financial implications of those world events to the particular company or industry of interest. Here is the meat and potatoes of the meal. Here is the main course with this newspaper. The whole enchilada, so to speak, is in this newspaper. And I was lucky to stumble upon it just by chance. Now from reading this paper, I was, I am, and so will you. You will be able to become familiar with companies' names, what they do or what they make, and their financial standing, all in one convenient place. There are graphs, diagrams, schematics, and tables in the Financial Times that make the information presented even that much more understandable. And it is by reading this newspaper that an insight into where companies and governments are actively investing their resources, their time and their money on a local and a worldwide basis can be obtained. Now how I would go about it was I would buy, and I still do buy, a Wednesday or a Thursday newspaper edition. And just find a quiet place. Instead of watching TV, find a little quiet place for half an hour, 40 minutes, maybe if you're lucky, an hour. And digest the information presented. Maybe a morning if you're really, really lucky. And there, from that digesting of the information, a balanced understanding of the movement of the investing effort would come forth. And this understanding of the movement of the investing effort and the movement of resources, it could be related to past, present, and future areas of investment concentration, both for the seeing where people invested as regards government and companies, and where you might want to invest 
as regards, okay, they're investing here, maybe this will be big. They're investing there, maybe that will grow. Now, I encourage any potential investor to buy just one copy of the newspaper. Buy it and go around and kick the tires, so to speak, see if you like it. One can be had online and downloaded to your tablet for as little as 75 cents. At least we could take a look at their website. Yeah, it is. Now there is a world of opportunity out there that no one or very few people are bring, being, how should I say, putting light to. But by reading this newspaper, you can see where those opportunities exist. This newspaper will provide a solid foundation for a realistic worldview that is based not upon hype, but it is based upon sound economic financial principles. Now, what more could anyone ask, an investor especially, but to have a good, honest read. Now, there are many other tools available out there that you can use. This is just but one. But this is but one that changed my life. And maybe it might change your life too. Until the next video, thank you for your attention. And I hope the information provided is helping someone. Have a good day, or good evening, or good night, be it wherever you are in the world. And thank you.